Good afternoon, I'm Mike Powers. It's always the case the candidate who knows how to get out the vote will have a huge advantage, but perhaps even more so on this primary election day because so far voters are turning out in low numbers. News 13's David Romero is live at Dolores Gonzalez Elementary School at the polling place there with more. David? Mike, we've been out here about an hour, and so far we may be, may be seeing about a handful of voters come in here to this precinct, and that's following a trend that we've seen so far with low voter turnout. Now, low turnout applies to both early and absentee voting as well as in person today. Preliminary numbers as of yesterday from the Bernalillo County Clerk's Office show only 11% of eligible early voters have submitted their ballots. Statewide, yesterday's figures show around 70, 74,000 New Mexicans have made the decision for the candidate they want to see from their party. Party, go for the desired job in November. In the course of two hours this morning, when the polls opened at one location, it only averaged about 10 people per hour. So far, statewide, it's about a 9% turnout, which is very, very low. And so I'm here to encourage, I hope everybody gets out to vote. This is an important election. And important indeed because the big vote on the ballot is the race for governor. Democrats have only one choice. That is the current lieutenant governor, Diane Danish. The Republicans have five candidates to choose from, and that's, of course, Alan Way, Susanna Martinez, Pete Domenici Jr., Doug Turner, and Janice Arnold Jones. Now, one precinct judge told us earlier this morning that they had to turn some people away from the precinct that they were at because they were at the wrong location. They say before you head out, make sure you know that you're going to your appropriate location. That way your vote will count, and maybe those numbers will go out. As far as voter turnout is concerned. Mike, back to you. Okay, David, thanks for that update. Now, with no lines and no rush at most polling locations, you can get in and out in minutes, but that can always change. Remember, the polls close at 7 o'clock tonight. And be sure to stay with KRQE News 13 and KRQE.com for complete primary day coverage in all of our newscasts and online.